It's cuffing season, folks. <laughs> if you're one of the people who has recently jumped back into the dating pool, listen up. Yep, relation expert Lud McPherson is here to break down some of the newest dating trends. I can't even keep up with the names. Like, let alone. Every year they are brand new, so we just have to keep up. And, and today I'm going to actually grade some of them that are coming in okay. to tell you what I like. That's number one. Uh, the the t 10 is really good idea. Number one is really bad idea. Okay, right. I like that. Core values dating. Mm -hmm. Okay, core values dating, I give that a 10. The reason is because people are leaving the shallow and going for substance. So they're having better conversations about children and uh, religion and politics yes. and, and things that really matter to them value-wise. And more people are wanting you to be involved in social issues. I like okay. that, especially if you do that off a jump, because then you can just keep it moving yeah. if it doesn't work, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Are certain uh, dating websites more open to that? Or like, so if you're like on Tinder, do you find people who are looking for core dating versus people who are, say, on eHarmony or, or something? Or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's there. There are some just pickup sites, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to name the name of the sites, but okay. there are some pickup sites. You got to know what you are working with. Uh, there are some for older couples. There are some for um, more serious, and then things like Bumble, who is more women, they get to make the choices. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Uh, Age-defying dating. Uh, we've seen this in celebrities, but this is happening with real folks now too. Yeah, okay. people are saying that they don't. You know, age is not is no longer a factor, Ooh, okay. and. And even the women, they're saying we're dating younger. We're talking legal age, okay? Of course. okay. Let's, let's, <laughs> and so we're the, the women are dating younger, men are dating all younger and older. Okay. And so what is happening is, um, I actually I would give this one an eight, and because it's difficult sometimes to manage. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because your natural default might be to be judgmental of someone younger than you mm -hmm. yes. or older than you. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes difficult and challenging to cross generations and mm -hmm. have the same values and goals. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to resist parenting or wanting to be parent. Oh, Ooh, that's yeah, a big we don't one. necessarily want those glucose guardians. Yeah, <laughs> we don't need that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you've got to manage that one. Yeah. All right, virtual one dating? Yes, that means that the first dates are now virtual. And I think that that is a great idea. I'm giving it a nine only because some people want to be more valiant or, or whatever. But, but uh, the first date, because people are tired of wasting time oh, and money. Yes. Okay. And so, but to manage a first one date that is virtual, FaceTime or some kind of Zoom or something like that, yeah. in order to manage that, I would suggest that uh, somebody, unless both of you all saying we're just going to have our own separate meals, make it creative, mm, okay. okay? There may be videos where you dance, you know, just play some music, set up the room, make it an actual first date. Somebody can actually send food, That's DoorDash, cute. you know, to, yeah. to their date. So, so be more creative if you're going to actually do it instead of like a regular Zoom call. Okay, okay I like That's that too. All right. EI dating or is that E1 dating? Uh, that's actually EI dating okay. and that stands for either emotional intelligence okay. and emotional intimacy. Oh. People, you know, does he go to therapy is the new how tall is he? Okay, and so people want you to be more in tune with your me mental health. They are valuing emotional intimacy as much as physical. Intimacy. Oh, yeah, because somebody yeah. broke it on the inside with all that baggage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Coming yeah. Up at some the point. more we're becoming more self-aware, mm -hmm. we're requiring the higher levels of interactions. Okay. okay. Perfect. What did you give that, though, the EI dating? Um, oh, I give that actually a 10. Okay. I think okay. Yeah, okay. that's very mm -hmm. that's good. Now, let me tell you, with... with now, in order to be emotionally intelligent and have emotional intimacy, doesn't mean everybody has to go to therapy. But if you have some issues that are in your background, you do need to work on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfectly imperfect dating. That one is a little bit tricky because what they're saying is um, they are tired of the self-improvement trap. Uh, trap is the key word because the trap is the that fine, sticky line where it's like, I need to do better, but I need to accept myself as I am. Uh -huh. So if it's a part of I am not worthy unless I do this, um, that can be uh, uh, embedded in shame. Mm -hmm. However, if you are accept me as I am and, and I'm looking for somebody, I'm flawed and you just accept it and love it, 
okay, that's going to be a challenge for some people, especially if they haven't accepted themselves, mm -hmm. and to even find someone who is not non-judgmental uh, about certain things and have the tolerance level. <laughs> Always say, can your love cover that? Yeah. So having their love cover your flaws can be difficult, but managing the, but not focused on your flaws, but focused on your growth is actually very positive. Okay. All right. We're almost out of time, but no serial types dating. Yes. Okay. Serial type, people are leaving their comfort zone. If your type is usually, you know, uh, some type of guy, this is who's reigning. The short kings are coming up, okay? okay. All right? <laughs> the fluffy girls are on the rise, okay? Right. So, yep. so people are saying, these were used to be my type, but I am going to explore beyond my comfort zone, beyond my type, to see what I'm missing. Yeah. Right. And you I would score that actually a 10, because a lot of times what attracts us is familiarity mm -hmm. and sometimes even our traumas. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there you go. And people tend to get Trauma more bonds. attractive as Absolutely. they know them. So. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Can you open your mouth and extend a relationship or shut it right down yeah. as soon as you say something. Absolutely. Love right. these are great. LoveMcPherson.com is where you can get some more information, some great advice out there. Thanks, love. Thank All right, you. Thank you.